Hello and welcome to Energy and Scorp Intuition. It's your girl and I'm back. For those of you who keep up with the channel, you already know that um, I had a mishap and I fractured two of my vertebrae in my back. Um, that was earlier this week. I finally had enough energy um, and I'm not in as much pain right now. So I'm getting workout personals out. If you have a personal with me, you will be receiving it in, um, by Monday. Um, if not sooner, I've been working like a mad woman. Uh, so I can't sit for long periods of time, so I'm doing as much as I can and also trying to get you guys' readings out. If you want to update on what's going on with me, there is a video I just posted earlier today, which is Saturday, um, that has an update on me. Also, this is a, a Libra Charm bracelet um, that I bought off one of my subscribers' uh, websites. She her website is illasparks.com i l l a s p a r k z.com her information is in the description box below and she has great jewelry necklaces earrings uh the rings that attach to the uh wrist um handbags all type of little like quirky accessories that you really would find at a regular store she has um like astrology uh horoscope or um I'm trying to think of what I would call that. But she has like some um horoscope type bracelets, uh signs and different different kinds. But this is a Libra one as you guys know I am a Libra sun. Um they're very well made. So I'm just uh shouting her out as well because her products are awesome. I have a money bag purse that's coming as well that's shaped like the like the emoji money bag. So I'm gonna let you guys see that too. So that's just my update. So let's get to the reading as I was saging and whatnot. Um, this reading is going to be for my lovely Leos. It's been a while, hasn't it, Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and its cross watchers. I thank you for everyone that sent out the love and healing energy to me lately. It is greatly appreciated. As you guys know, I switched the readings up. So we're going to talk, start with our meditative, um, intuitive session. Um, and then we'll get to the tarot where it gets more into the specifics, okay? This might resonate for you. The um, other part may not. Whatever. Um, take it as, you know, take it as you can. If it doesn't resonate, try back in a week or so and see if the energy resonates for you then. Uh, there are 999,000 other readers out, guys. So, you know, just flow with who you flow with for that time being. You know, you can get messages from anywhere. All right. So, let's get to it. As you guys know, energy is fluid. So, this could be past, present, or future energy for some of you guys. For some, it won't resonate at all. If you want an individual reading, reach out to me at VenusiansCorpIntuition at gmail.com. That information will also be listed in the description box below. So, let's get to it. I know you guys are tired of the chit chat. Um, let's pull your love oracle for this time frame. Again, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers for the time frame of January 10th through January 20th, okay? And my cards want to act up. So let's get you guys this love oracle for this time frame. Hope you guys have been doing good. Has the new year been treating you? It's been a little crazy with me. Um, but, um, you know, I take it as it goes. You know, I got that Scorpio and Libra in me, so I am a soldier. If I ain't nothing else, so can't keep me down for long. So here we go. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So in regards to romance, guys, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. You are what you think, okay? Just like the law of attraction. What you think about all day is what you become. So a man thinketh, so is he. Whichever form of um, biblical, spiritual, whatever, this saying is used in a lot of spirituality, okay, guys? So imagine all those unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. It's very fitting for the beginning of the year, as most people say, out with the old and with the new, things like that. So let's get to it. My hands are starting to itch. Maybe I'm going to get some money. <laughs> All right. Oh, my fingers are really itching. So let's get to it, guys. Holy Spirit, Archangel, what messages do you have for my lovely Leos? My Lily, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and his cross watchers for the time frame of January 10th. Through January 20th. It's coming towards my lovely Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers for the time frame of January 10th through January 20th. Holy Spirit and Archangels, what messages do you have for my lovely Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers 
for the time frame of January 10th through January 20th. All right. Overall energy, we have authority. The authority. And you guys are kind of like authority too because you're the Leo, okay? King of the jungle. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put the romance and slap that on top of there. Trying to stay in good spirits, guys. <laughs> so bear with me. Trying to be my usual chipper happy self. Y'all don't want to see me all on here depressed and sad, do you? I'm handling the situation as best as I can. But y'all know I'm the bubbly type, so it really takes a lot to get me depressed. I did have a depressed couple of days, but I don't let myself wallow in that shit for too long. For anybody that's going through a struggle right now, I can't sit in that shit for too long. Shit happens every fucking day. You just gotta, it just determines on how you handle that shit. So handle your shit. A lot of people that depend on me, kids, clients, subscribers, and all. I don't have time to be feeling sorry for myself. If I'm capable, I will do. Maybe somebody needed that pet talk. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, two came out. All right. Okay. My nose is really itching. Now, y'all know I get messages when that happens. Good Lord. All right. So. In regards to romance, we have authority with children. Um, your love life is being affected by children. Maybe somebody is putting their foot down in a connection. Maybe there's some issues with some children. Maybe somebody talked to your kids crazy. Maybe somebody has a baby on the way. Maybe you got a baby with this child. Um, maybe some things are going on with the courts and the child situation. Okay, guys? I'm going to pull another card on that because that's a weird combo. I don't think I've ever had that one before, Leo. So, where's my deck? Oh, here it is. So, we're going to pull one more to see if we can get a little bit more insight. Okay, moving on. Okay, so maybe someone is having to move away from children. Or maybe somebody is moving on. Uh, maybe you had a connection with somebody that was very controlling. And you got to move on with your kids. Like, look, I got to get the hell up out of here. This is not a relationship. This is a dictatorship. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, for the person that that message goes for. Okay, it might not be for everybody. The tarot card might uh, resonate for you, but bear with me. Um, we have rejoice and celebration. Give your relationship a chance. So I'm feeling like um, some of you guys could have, uh, maybe if you were dealing with somebody with a third party, maybe somebody has a baby coming or something like that and you can't deal with it and you move on with it. Or maybe somebody uh, found out something about some kids and you got to continue to move on with this person. Some of you guys are giving a relationship a chance. It could have been a third party or there is some type of, um, celebration, okay? Maybe some of you guys are renewing your vows or getting engaged or maybe there's a baby shower uh, going on. Um, maybe you guys are celebrating because you decided to give a relationship a chance and it's going well right now, okay? Um, we also have emotional loss with religious factors. Okay, for some of you guys, you could have uh, lost the connection because maybe they're not on the same spiritual level as you. Um, maybe you guys don't have the same beliefs. Um, maybe you feel like you have lost a, uh, maybe this is past energy. You feel like you've lost some type of divine connection. For some, it's twin flame, soulmate connection, however you like to call that. And that was something that was difficult for you to try to get, get through. But I feel like, um, there's some type of connection coming back together. If it's not this, um, old one, there is something new, but it says give your relationship a chance. Well, it sounds like something from the past is coming back for you guys. Maybe some type of truth is found out because this slid out. That wasn't even there. Um, but maybe there's some type of truth coming out about some children um, that you needed to know. Maybe somebody got, I'm hearing for someone, you guys could have got like DNA test results in the mail. Like I'm seeing something that came in the mail or something that came in the mail. Maybe somebody's trying to fight you for your kids or something like that. Okay. I can't shake that. Okay. So um, I feel like maybe you, you, for most of you suffered an emotional loss by letting somebody go. So we're in January, 2020. And a lot of people have let go, um, toxic situations and things that they feel like weren't good for them. There's something that happens around January. As you guys know, new year, new me, people release things that have been baggage or difficult for them. Uh, they don't want to bring it into the new year, but I feel like this won't be separated for long. Um, you've been pay playing the waiting game with this person, letting them know that you deserve love or you do not mind waiting for love at this point in time. Okay, Leo. Yeah, here we go. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Some of you guys are starting over at zero. Somebody is learning your worth or you're learning somebody's worth. As you know, these readings can be vice versa. Okay, Leo? 
sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watcher. Um, all in all, I feel like it could have been something with a very intense season. Look, worth waiting for. Solitude. You detach from something because you know that you are worth waiting for, baby. Yes, the fuck you do. And now you are aware of the difference between true love and somebody that's pulling your goddamn coattail, okay? Or somebody that's pulling your strings or have you riding rainbows as we say. I gotta get my merchandise so we can get the riding rainbows t-shirts. Somebody could have had your ass riding rainbows, eating tricks and shit, okay? Fruit loops, okay? Um, but now it's like you are aware now, Leo, what is true love and who's a fucking flirt, all right? This has been brought to your attention because now you are putting people in their place and letting them know, look, I'm worth waiting for. If you can't wait for me or if you can't do things on these certain terms, I don't want to deal with you. I'm looking for true love, not for some shit that I'm flirting around with, okay? I feel like you have really been pressing this issue and you don't mind fucking waiting, okay? Um, but I feel like uh, for some of you guys, you're giving this relationship a chance. You did detach. This person is knowing your worth. Um, you are loving yourself. You are starting over this new year. You said, fuck no, I'm putting me first. Okay, Leo, let me turn off this computer. It's rather bright. You put yourself first. You're like, fuck this. Okay. And you could be rejoicing, celebrating that you're not dealing with no bullshit this year. It's like, I'll be to myself. I'll be in solitude. I'm worth waiting for, you know, um, if they're not, people are not on my spiritual journey or they're not on my wavelength or they don't resonate with me spiritually, I'm not dealing with it. I'm going to fucking wait because I deserve love. You got a lot of shit where you're standing up for yourself. You're the waiting game. Okay. You don't mind waiting. Okay. Because now you are aware that you don't want to flirt around. You want true love or you are aware that people in your life just wanted to flirt. They didn't really want real love. Or you are aware that somebody that you were flirting around with can be a true love. Maybe you had this person waiting. Maybe you had somebody playing the waiting game and now you realize it's like, oh shit, this person was a true love. I was fucking around, okay? All right. So let's get to the tarot and see what's going on there. Okay, Leo? What y'all got going on, baby? But that was your love oracle. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. A lot of you guys have cleared out that old ass baggage and you want something new. But for others that are not, it's like you cleared out the baggage and somebody's, they ain't gonna let you go so easily. They're gonna realize your work, okay? So let's get into the tarot, my loves, and see what's coming for you in this time frame. Like I said, it could be past, present, future energy. It might not resonate at all, 999,000 other readers. Or you might also need to tap into your own individual energy because you're trying to get this reading and you're trying to pull on energy with thousands of people. If you like a personal, reach out to me at VenusianScorpIntuition at gmail.com. So let's get into the tarot. This hair is giving me a ride today, y'all. I did not feel like flat ironing it. It took all my might to just get myself together and pull myself off of the couch. So, Lord knows, I didn't feel like flat ironing no hair for no two hours. Bear with me. Okay, some of you guys could be a, I'm off the bat, a Virgo, Leo, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Or you could just flat out be a Virgo, looking at it as a cross washer. But we got Virgo here. Okay. Page of Pentacles, see? Somebody was playing around or had you waiting around, okay? It's like, mm, they kind of toyed with the thought of a commitment. Or there's a situation, maybe because they had children before with a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn child. And somebody's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Maybe there was some that deceit about a child, somebody having a child. Um, or there was deceit because there could be a Sag that could have some deceit because we had it right at the, uh, under the deck. Or for some, this deceit may come out, um, just practice a little patience. What's done in the dark will come to the light. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we have the Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. Somebody could be deceptive or sneaky or in denial because um, cause they have you waiting for some type of commitment. Or maybe they're in denial like, mm, they'll always be around for me to give them this. <laughs> uh, Leo, who the fuck are they talking to? Okay, because Leo ain't got time for that, do y'all? <laughs> Leo was not going to always stick around. Or Leo, you thinking somebody else is sticking around. Get your shit together. 
so we have the hermit yeah like we had that solitude a lot of those cards in the um intuitive reading solitude and waiting game and loving yourself first i feel like you leo queen of wands leo sagittarius or aries uh is going into solitude virgo mode planning patience looking deeper into things like i said in the last reading that we just did the awareness with, with the true love and flirt you're going deep in regards to your love relationship you're realizing what's real and what's not leo that's what i'm hearing What's this popped out? Yeah, the tower. You going into solitude. You are, I'm hearing, like breaking down some old thought barriers or the way you think things should have been uh, is coming down. I feel like the tower is more of a mental thing. You going deep within and maybe you're experiencing some epiphanies, okay? Or the person you're dealing with. Some of you guys were burdened by third party situations or you're burdened with um, wanting to reunite with someone, someone that you could feel that you have a divine connection with. I told you that came out in the last spread. Okay. Um, uh, it could be with a Gemini, a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay. Or maybe somebody, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio came in between a connection or slowed somebody down for coming towards you. Maybe this person couldn't really commit and was playing around with the commitment because they had third parties. Okay. So that's why you could have detached yourself. All the energy I was feeling in the intuitive session. I'm starting to itch. Um, in the intuitive session, because there was somebody else blocking this or interference. I'm hearing like interference. Fair for the Knight of Cups. What is this person coming with? Yeah, you could have thought it was a missed opportunity. You weren't getting what you want. This person was moving slow as shit. Uh, maybe didn't show as much as an emotion. Could have been like a robot or a nice king or queen. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You just like you want to come forward now. They want to come forward now. Um, because before, we came between you guys third parties. Or a third party does not have to be a person, guys. It could be a job, a family member, friends, alcohol, crack, whatever. Anything that is coming in between you and your relationship or your person. Um, yeah, I feel like the betrayal was juggling, though. Sorry, guys. Or that this person had to, was long distance. And maybe somebody couldn't take a long distance relationship anymore. If it wasn't long distance, baby. It was juggling. It could have been a Taurus. Okay? Or somebody was juggling to, to a couple of commitments. All right? All right. And that's why they were moving so slow. And I feel like you put a little fire under their ass, Leo. Yeah, moving slow. This person was going in between two commitment, two commitments. Or they were slow. They weren't trying to meet up. Maybe, yeah, Ten of Wands is what burdened the connection before. See, we got the Ten of, ten of Wands with the third parties. Or, like I said, it's a long-distance relationship. And the burden was that it was hard for you guys to connect. It's like somebody, I want to feel you. I, I don't know why I heard something else. I'm not going to say that. Um, they want to feel you and do other things with you. Um, they want to breathe you. It's just I'm hearing really, they really want to be close. Okay? And it took too long to meet up. Maybe you're tired of this person making plans. And then the plans fall through. Or the plane ticket don't go through. Or they don't got the money. And it's like, I'm tired of this shit. They got to have third parties. It could be both. They could be long distance with third parties. Or they could be long distance or it could be third parties, okay? That was the burden on the connection. But once it wasn't long distance, maybe it was, there were third parties, and this person tried to go back and forth between you and the commitment, or two commitments. I feel like yeah, they were going back between people that they cared about. I don't feel like it was like a fling, or this person stepped outside of the commitment to do fuck boy shit, but it caused, or fuck girl shit, it caused a lot of burdens on the commitment, okay, guys? That could have been why the first part was all about, you know, being in solitude, waiting game, I'll wait for something that's worth it, because this motherfucker here is sneaky, as uh, sneaky can be. Let's clarify the seven of swords, what this deception or sneakiness is. Yeah, it could be a king of wands, or it could be you, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Here we go, that Virgo energy again, that Virgo's back. For some of you guys, okay? But like I said, it could be a Virgo Leo or something like that. Yeah, Queen of Cups, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be somebody that you really cared about or they really do love you. Um, but they're breaking your heart at this point in time or they did, all right? What's this heartbreak about? Mm-hmm. This heartbreak is about because maybe somebody saw some things this committed person was doing. Maybe it was some messages. Maybe this person had some bitter ass exes. I told you I felt like it was some interference. If it wasn't third parties or something like that, this person tried to interfere in your connection because they were committed to you. Okay. 
And I feel like now that you guys could have broken up or whatever the case is, this person does watch your page or maybe drive past your house or ask people about you. Or that's this third party. But yeah, Leo, you could be doing this too. Or there's somebody is stalking Leo because the strength card is Leo. Okay? It's like they're trying not to look your way, but they can't help but stalk you. Because you have cut somebody off. Yeah, they weren't giving as much as they should in the connection. With the Six of Pentacles. That's somebody overcompensating. And they are regretful at this point in time. That is your reading. Let's see what they regret before. You know we know. Z. What are they regretful for? Not giving that offer. Moving too slow. See before they were in the fucking tree. With the goddamn Pentacle. Now they are regretting. Not giving you the goddamn Pentacle. Okay. Because you walked away. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright. So if you like a personal reading. Reach out to me at. Venusianscorp. Intuition at gmail.com. That information will be in the description box below as I do intense love reads. I check for blockages, their intentions, how they feel, how they also feel in a spiritual connection. They go pretty deep and they are well worth it. I do counseling sessions, career, dream um, interpretations, whatever. Even if it's not on my list, ask about it because I need to re-updo my list, re redo my list. My nose is woo. All right, guys, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed my lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and his cross watchers. And thank you guys for the love you're sending me. I'm trying to get through this battle, and I got this. I love you guys. Bye-bye.